Alright guys, so I got a special box in the mail today and it's from HelloFresh. So it's actually my first time trying HelloFresh. I'm super excited. I have four recipes in here, but I'm gonna set up everything so I can take out what I ordered and show you guys. I'm so excited, oh my god, yes. All right, so I just opened up the box, but basically when you open the box, it comes with this like insulation to make sure that the food is kept like cold or just like insulated so nothing happens to it. Um, and then, so I ordered four recipes and all the ingredients that are needed for each recipe comes in a little bag like this. So here's one, two, and four. Okay. So. And then at the bottom, they put ice for any meats that I might have ordered or fish. So like, here's the fish, and then here's the chicken. And there's two. I think they're stuck together. And then here are the four recipes that I ordered. I'm gonna show you guys. Let me just get rid of this box. So. I ordered these smoky black bean and corn tostadas, and this is how they're supposed to turn out. And then I also got the chipotle chicken and rice bowl. This one sounds really good. I want to try this one. And then I also got parmesan crusted chicken. Ooh. Okay. And then the last one is the blackened bur barramundi and pineapple salsa. And this is for the fish recipe. That looks really good and fancy, like with the pineapple, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so I think I might start off... You know what, I think I'm gonna try the barramundi recipe just because it does come with fish and I don't want the fish to go bad or anything since I will be going out of town soon. So I should probably make that first. Okay, so for that one, this is the bag. And I'm gonna put the rest of the bags away in the fridge. Also, before I forget, I wanna give a huge shout out to my cousin Jasmine for sending me over these meals. Thank you. So since this recipe does require fish, I'm gonna have to make sure that it's thawed out and not frozen so I can cook it. So I'm gonna set that aside. And then I'm gonna take out what's inside the bag. So here's the pineapple, and that's for the pineapple salsa. Then there's jasmine rice. This is so cute. And then scallions, it says there's two in here. So they like package it for like, and they send over exactly what you need, which is really like nice and convenient. And then the green beans, which is like the side. And then the this is Southwest Spice Blend, one teaspoon. So I'm guessing this is the seasoning for the barramundi fish. <laughs> and then the lime. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh look, they even have like their own little stickers and everything. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's so cute. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. So this is gonna be what helps me cook it because on the back, it tells you like step-by-step step how you make each recipe. So, um, to start off, it says... Okay, so as like pointers, they say, first pat the fillets as dry as you can with paper towels. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get the fish and put it in warm water so that it can thaw out. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, so a couple of hours have passed by and it looks like the fish is ready to be cooked, I believe. Let's hope. <laughs> um, it looks, yeah, I think it's ready. Um, so I'm gonna get all the utensils that I need so I can cut up the fish and everything. All right, so I got paper towels so I can um, pat dry the fillets. And then I got a strainer and a bowl that will be used later on. I have another bowl right here. And then my cutting board. Oh, and I need a knife. And then I got some scissors and a knife. So I'm just gonna take this little packet and cut it right here. Also, the recipes that I got are for two people, which might be why it seems like a little bit of like food. Like the fish is kind of tiny, you know. Oh god, I've never cooked with fish, so I'm kind of scared. I hope I like don't mess it up. 
you know what guys if everything goes good i might think about turning this channel into a cooking channel just kidding i was actually like really scared i'm gonna like burn down the house <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get this out of here so i have cut open the fish because it was kind of like stuck together in two pieces um so i just like cut it open it does have some ice still so i'm gonna take the napkins and just try to get rid of as much ice scallions the next thing is that we're going to cook the rice but first we're going to add the scallions and then add the rice so it does say to heat a drizzle of oil in a small pot over medium high heat and then add the scallion whites and we're gonna, just going to let that cook for um, one minute to two minutes and this should take about 15 minutes all right, so while the rice cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and make the salsa. Also, sorry if the camera seems to be moving. I am like going back and forth, you know, between the table and the stove. So that might be the reason why there's like a shift in the angle. But we're gonna go ahead and make the salsa. So first we have to take the pineapple and drain it. And we're going to keep the juice so we're not going to get rid of the pineapple juice. I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So I'm now I'm just going to take this drainer and drain it over this bowl. This, this reminds me of like those doll cups that I would take for lunch when I was like in elementary school. Okay, so once the pineapple has been drained, it does say that I have to go ahead and roughly chop it. So I'm going to take my cutting board. So once I have chopped up this pineapple, I'm going to go ahead and trim the green beans. Once I have trimmed the green beans, I'm going to put these aside and continue with the salsa. Okay, so it says to now take the lime and zest it. And since I don't have a zester, I'm going to go ahead and use this grater. And we're going to be making our salsa in here. So, so it doesn't say how much to zest it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of these. Okay, so it does smell like it's pretty sour, so I think that's all I'm going to do. So after that, we're going to take the pineapple and the scallion greens, and we're going to add it in with the lime zest. We're going to take one wedge from the lime, and we're going to try to squeeze as much of the juice from it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the pineapple juice, and we're going to add two tablespoons of it. Alright, so now we're going to move on and we're going to do the green beans. So I'm just going to take them and we're going to place them onto this baking sheet. And then I'm just going to add some oil and salt. Okay, so I have preheated the oven to 425 and we're just going to place the green beans in here for 10 to 12 minutes. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and season the fish with salt and then also the seasoning spice that they sent. So I'm just going to add salt on the skin side and the other side as well. And then I'm just going to be using the season that they sent on the flesh side. Alright, so now I'm just going to take the fish and add it to the pan with a drizzle of oil and leave it there for four to five minutes on medium high heat. Ok 
Okay, so while the fish is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and finish seasoning the rice. So, it says we need a tablespoon of butter. And I'm actually running out of butter, so I'm just gonna add as much butter as I can. And then we're gonna take a wedge from the lime and zest a little bit of it on it. And then it also says to add a little bit of lime juice and salt. So I'm finally done. This is what it looks like. I think it looks a lot like the picture. All right, so now it's time to try it. I'm gonna first try the rice. Mm. It's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try a green bean. Let's see. I mean, they're just like green beans, so I don't think it's gonna be like anything big. Good. All right, now I'm gonna try the fish with the salsa. Really good. It's crazy how like it actually tastes really good with pineapple. Hi guys, so I'm over here editing my video and I realized that I never filmed an outro so here I am. But um, the meal came out really good. If I had to rate it from a 1 to 10 out of 10, I would give it like a 8 or 9. So I really liked it. Um, I'm excited to try the other three recipes that came in the box. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!